So now let's go ahead and see how we can actually animate our ship. So I'm going to go ahead and take that image that we created that's got the four ships or that sprite sheet for our spaceship and I'm going to copy this into our project here. So I'm going to go into our project and inside our content directory I'm going to replace the spaceship that was there. And so now we're using that sprite sheet. So if we looked at our demo content here, if we look at our spaceship, you can see it's the correct one now. But now we need to actually update our spaceship to be using this other constructor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into our player ship class. And here where it's calling base, we're going to go ahead and pass in the information here because our player ship is always going to be using that same sprite sheet. So we'll just put in here for two rows and two columns. And we're going to make that the frames per second be about 14. That seems to be about a good number. So we're basically every second we're going to be going through 14 frames of animation. So now let's go ahead and run this and see what we get here. So you can see now our ship is animated and we can still shoot here and I'm not the best artist in the world here, but you can see how you can create a basic animation here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply this same animation technique to our alien ship and to our shots and then we'll take a look at that. And you can go ahead and do that on your own. I'm not going to go through that process here because it's the same exact thing that we've done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll take a look at that after I'm done. So I've gone ahead here and I've updated all of our sprites to have animations. So they all have these two by two grids in our sprite sheet. So you can see that I created one for our shot, created one for our alien, inside of our enemy ship here. And they basically are all two by twos and then have this update speed of 14 frames per second on this one. And then we've got our player ship, of course, that had 14 frames per second. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like here. And again, I'm not the best artist here, but you can see that we've got a spaceship here that's animated, our ships animated, even our shots are animated here. So now the next thing that we need to do is add some explosions. So now that we know how to do animations, we can actually get explosions working and make some explosions for when our enemy gets killed or our ship gets killed.